Hello everyone, welcome back to Andrina's Creations. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your own logo stickers. I'm going to be doing multiple of these videos about branding. I know everyone lately has been learning how to do customized favors or making t-shirts or anything in particular, but they still want to learn about branding. I think branding, it is very important in your small business. You want everyone to know who you are. It is. It looks great on your packaging. It looks great even on your shipping boxes, your poly mailers and stuff like that. Whatever you are sending, you want people to remember you. So today I'm going to show you how to make your own logo stickers. If you have your own logo, this is going to be very easy. If you don't own a logo yet, you can find different websites, Facebook, Instagram. Um, you can search who, uh, graphic designers, stuff like that. You can make a simple one yourself. Uh, there's a website called, I think, Fiverr. Um, but my logo, if you are not in my crafting group, one of my admins did my logo. Her name is Susana Turner, and uh, her Facebook business page is Tribal wolf prints check down the description box i'm going to link her name there she also has her own website so if you want to contact her for her to work on anything of your labels and stuff like that you can um like i said message her but i already have a logo made and this is going to be very simple depending on what shape you want your logo to be in i'm just going to leave mine in a circle so you're going to go to insert and y'all know like all my previous videos i always tell you if i do anything in microsoft word i first go to file i go to save as and then from there i will save my document as word 97 2003 so right here where it says save as type i'm going to click the um the arrow and where it says word 97 2003 document and then name your file which i named it logo stickers and then i'm going to click on save i just like this version better than the regular microsoft word so then you're going to go to insert you're going to go to shapes you're going to click on a circle now and you're going to make any circle on your screen now here it depends on you what size of stickers you want ain't no right or wrong if you want them small big it's all up to you it depends also where are you putting it at usually i do mines around one inch two inches it doesn't matter but because we are doing this in microsoft word you're gonna have to cut this out by hand or if you own any hole punchers, you can find some on Amazon or any um, local craft stores. I think Walmart even has any. So whatever hole punchers you find, then do your circles that size. Here I have a 1.31 hole puncher. So I'm going to make this circle 1.31 just so I can use that hole puncher, okay? So 1.31 and enter. So basically when you have your circle selected and you're in the format tab, all the way on your right, it is height and width. So on my height, I'm putting 1.31 and my width, I'm putting 1.31 because that is a hole puncher I have here. Then from here, you're going to stay on the format tab and you're going to go where it says shape fill. And then it says when you're in the shape fill, it's going to say picture. You're going to click on picture and you're going to insert your logo there. So I'm going to look for my logo. Click on it and click insert. My logo is in there. Now my outline of my circle that I made, I'm going to go to the format tab. I'm going to go to shape outline, more outline colors. And I'm going to click some of these colors and I'm going to click OK. Just because my logo has a white background and I need to be able to see where I'm going to cut this um this uh, sticker. Okay, so I'm going to place it here and I'm going to right click, copy, right click and paste. And you're going to put as many as you want in a sheet of paper. Okay, so I'm going to click on these two. I'm going to click on the first one. Hold down my shift key. Click on the other one. Right click and copy. Right click and paste. Like that. Now I'm going to hold down my shift key and press all of them, copy and paste. And you're going to continue doing this and fill up your paper. I could honestly um, copy and paste and add that one there. Make sure that you're holding down your shift key, copy, 
and paste. Okay. Copy. And it depends how big you made them. That's how much you are going to put on your uh, paper, okay? And I think I did too much. The That one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Had to get deleted. And there you go. You are done. You have a full sheet of stickers with your logo on it. Now, you, if you have a printer at home, you can easily print this at home. I have a workforce 7710 and a 7720 printer i have an inkjet printer so you're gonna have to find inkjet sticker paper you can find some on amazon again check out my description box from a amazon affiliated um page you or if you have a laser printer you're going to look for laser uh sticker paper there's a variety of sticker papers out there there is a uh, white background sticker paper there is clear sticker paper i mean the there's so many possibilities out there if you feel like this is too time consuming and you don't want to print at home there's lots of websites out there that you can send to print there is a vista print there's sticker mule um there's uh avery so if you use avery if you go into the avery website there's they actually have like their own template that all you have to do is insert your design into their template and if you so basically if you go to the store and you get avery sticker paper and sometimes they're like in circles or squares and stuff like that you will get that sticker paper you will bring it home and if you go to the avery website you will enter the code that's in your avery sticker paper and avery website will give you that template so you will fill it in of any design you want and you could print at home or if you don't have a printer at home you will just design it save it as a pdf file and you could send it to print with avery website or you could print it at your local printing shop same thing like this page that we just did here you can save this as a pdf file you go to file you go to save as and you will click on your arrow where it says save as type and you will save this as a pdf file and you will go to your local printing shop and print this on sticker paper there's so many possibilities out there trust me this is not hard but this is one of the videos um that I wanted to do for branding. If you follow me on any social media, y'all know that I do uh, a lot of shipping and I ship a lot of explosion boxes and stuff like that. So I will put these stickers under my explosion boxes or if I'm shipping like cupcake toppers, cake uh, toppers, um, anything that I'm shipping, I'm adding my label on it. I'm actually going to print one out so you can see how it's going to look and we're gonna actually cut some out, okay? So I'll see you over there. Okay, so once you print your uh, sticker paper, this is how it's going to look. Again, it depends how many stickers you put in there. And this hole puncher I got from, I think online, I'm not sure where, but you can find different hole puncher sizes at any crafting uh, store or online on Amazon. Um, so you, mine's opens like this. And then that's why I did mine's 1.3 because I have this, or I also have a one inch. If you need if you want to make your stickers smaller and all you have to do is you're going to put your sticker paper in there and then you cut and you have your custom logo sticker this could be a little bit time consuming. Like I said, you could find different websites that you can actually print out, um, send them to customize it. You could, like I said, upload your design and then have them already cut and stuff like that. But if you're starting right now and you're a small business owner, you can do this yourself, okay? So please comment down below any more videos you would like to see about branding and stuff like that. I'm more than willing to help you guys. I like doing stuff like this. If y'all follow me on my crafting group, y'all know that I'm always, always, always branding my items no matter what I ship, okay? So I'm going to come right back after I'm done cutting all these out, okay? Okay, so I'm done cutting them up. And here, this is how they're all going to look. Again, you can add your logo stickers to anything of your choice. 
um check down the description box again for my amazon link there's different varieties of sticker paper that they sell on amazon they have even waterproof sticker paper they have again glossy this is the matte white paper um full sheet 8 by 11 sticker paper if by any chance you don't want to print at home, there's several websites out there that you can upload your own design and print them somewhere else. But again, this is very easy to do at home. And if you like these videos, just comment down below um, what you like about branding, what other videos you would like to see from me. And if you would like to purchase anything from me, feel free to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Genius Creations. Also, my email is AngeniusCreations at Yahoo.com. My website is AngeniusCreations.com. And um, if you haven't joined my Facebook group, feel free to join. It's Angenius Creations Crafting Lounge, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know what other branding videos you would like to see or any other tutorials, okay? So I'll talk to you guys later. And I hope everyone's having a blessed day. Bye-bye.